I found the story of the wreck of the Carl D. Bradley while I was doing some family research. And I remember reading the Wikipedia account and I looked up at my mom who was in the kitchen and I said, Mom, have you ever heard the story of the Carl D. Bradley and the wreck of it? She says, no, why? I said, I think Gordon Lightfoot picked the wrong boat. The Men Long Forgotten is a tribute to the crew of the Carl D. Bradley, those that lived and those that died. It's also a tribute to the bravery of the Coast Guard, <clears throat> to the small town of Roger City, northern Michigan, and to the families who lost loved ones. The Men Long Forgotten is probably not going to be a song that you play at a party or while you're working out at a gym. The best way really to listen to it is to get into a quiet area, put on a pair of headphones, grab a drink, and sit back and listen to the story. On November 18, 1958, the freighter Carl D. Bradley sunk in Lake Michigan. 35 men were aboard. Only two lived to tell the story. The names of the crew were the captain, Roland Bryan, first mate, Elmer Fleming, second mate, John Fogelsoner, and third mate, Carl Bartell. The wheelsmen, Earl Togetsky, Raymond Kowalski, Joseph Krawczak. On the deck was Frank Mays, Richard Book, Bud Meredith, Gary Price, Gary Strzecki, and Dwayne Burge. The watchmen were Elvi Budnick, Melville Orr, and Paul Greenski. And the conveyor men, Chick Valley and Leo Promo. The porters were Ben Shefke, James Selke, and Doug Belmore. And down in the engine room, Mr. Raymond Bueller, Keith Schuler, Alfred Beamer, and John Bowers. There was a repairman named William Elliott. The Stoker men were Clyde Ennis, Earhard Felax, and Paul Heller, and a wiper named Mike Jopic. The Oilers, Floyd McDougal, Paul Horn, and Mike Gager. And last but not least, Alfred Polarski and John Zoho, the cooks. Eighteen of the bodies would be recovered. Fifteen were lost at sea. Descend on the forward end of the former queen of the lakes. They removed the bell last rang and the season of '58. Waiting on the waves, Frank L. Mays, the last man to know how the car of Bradley ended up below. Untied the lines at 9 p.m. Heading on the man to walk And in the dry dock They hug the coast of the Wisconsin shore To dodge a raging storm And a wind shadow Went to his rack to take a nap When he woke, things had changed Harbor was far away. The captain got a call for one last haul. Yet he turned the helm, steered up and the head. I'm searching to read that submarine. She went all in through the throng This is the tale Of the man long forgotten Who died On a cold November night What Solomon said Was a man for their souls While the shooting star was heaven bound It stopped, it swooped the mud Held the road at Frank Dog down the latches And on the cool hatches Flood the ballast 
Up to the brim and help trim the ship Turning through the tunnel, there were no signs of trouble They summed out a puddle in the bilge With no stone tunnel, he ducks in the dunnage room for a smoke But when the keel broke, he sent out a sonic boom And the boat began to shudder as the prop and the rudder spun out of two they raced to the top as the engines went to stop They watched the stern droop and return Seven short whistles and one long blast Tell the crew that the ship won't last When the sudden end of the SOS hey, 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 The hey, world hey, knows the Bradley's in distress Slipping downstairs and slamming doors The dying orange jackets and cork only hope is to get to the stern and help turn down the lap bowl. The second mate is a chunk of you for me who left for the war at 17. It's probably why the captain lets him jump the breach. He plans an arc over wild blue stocks and the snapping of the ship's steel. When the head full of steam, he sprints past the boom and leaps into his grave. There was no doubt time had run out when Frank unstraps the raft. Out of the blue came the crest of a wave, destined to drown their souls. And smashed against the gunnel, capsized half of the hole. Spray from the surface choking their breath and they're freezing to death. This is the tale of the man long forgotten who died on a cold November night. What Solomon said was a man for their soul. While the shooting star was heaven bound, it stopped and swooped them up. The after the ship stays fully lit, float without a list. Gales in November stir its appetite The Chikami swallows the last bite She belched up all the fires The engines retired Vanished below with the fish Frank is the first man to swim to the raft He grabs Elmer who takes command Gary hops aboard like a kid on a surfboard And Dennis fights the menace of the waves Waking from a snooze, a few threads and no shoes He's already froze and blue So Elmer hugs him up like a boy would a pup And lights off two other flares By the Germans see the flame, they adjust their aim And the flares make them stare So Elmer strikes another to give them a mark But it totally fails to spark Low, dropping red glow, but the winds are blowing them away. Gary stays spry, keeps out an eye for swells that would bid them goodbye. The third time they flip, Dennis slip a little closer to his death. Hanging by his sleeve, they wouldn't let him leave, but the icy jaws bid to the bone. They shivered and chattered as the dream became shattered Clenched into the gaps in the slats When they cause to see anchor it stops slipping over Will it drag out the dead? Frank keeps repeating a hopeful rip If we make it till daylight we'll be found Moments after dark Gary disembarked Deluded from illusions of a reaching warmer ground 
Well, the island seemed close, maybe 60 yards, but he can't swim because he can't feel his arms. This is the tale of the man long forgotten who died on a cold November night. What Solomon said was a man for their soul. While the shooting star was heaven bound, it stopped and swooped the moon. Tragedy on Upper Lake, Michigan. Rescue ships and aircraft on a desperate search mission after a vicious storm near Gull Island. Made a calls were heard from port to port. One by one, rescue crabs are forced to avoid Except for a move and the spotlight of the cutter sun blue News gets around the town of the search and rescue They gather on the pier to cheer them on Two sound looks up and says You gotta go out, but you don't have to go back Zigged and zagged all night long Turning up on the guts At the break of dawn A watchman yells Dead ahead I think I see two heads I found them floating in an ice cocoon Moments before they died They refused to be taken in Till they found more of their friends Two by two, they collect a cadaver crew Radioed in Call the next of kin Except for Mays and Fleming We fear dead, 33 mates all the folks in Roger City, Thanksgiving will have to wait. The town that lived by the ships died by one. The policeman knocked and rang the bell. Said your mama called for something she needs to tell you Your brother's boat's gone down And they're not sure if he's lived or died The roads to St. Ignace were a god-awful mess We stayed up all night listening for some news Till Uncle Pooch went down and talked to the company men That's where he found out Johnny was the first to die How did a boat so long and so strong Quickly snap in two The crew used to joke That the rust was the glue Twenty-three mamas and fifty-three babies I get a check for daddy's soul John Freeman Ferguson is engraved on a stone On an empty grave by his father Leo and mother Florence Sister to my grandpa Florence Ooch Tamlin Bow your head for the man long forgotten What Solomon said wasn't meant for his soul While the 
shooting star was heaven bound It stopped and swooped him up To the men long forgotten, you are forgotten no more